Hello. In this video, I will show how to extract and purify acetyl salicylic acid, the active ingredient in aspirin pills. For this procedure, you will need a 100 milliliter graduated cylinder, a 125 milliliter Erlenmeyer flask, two 600 milliliter beakers, a 1 liter beaker or a large container for an ice bath, another container for cooling distilled water, a glass stir rod, a watch glass, a Teflon stir bar, and either a filter funnel with ring clamp or a vacuum filtration flask and Buckner funnel. This procedure also requires aspirin tablets, isopropyl alcohol, and 600 milliliters of ice-cold distilled water which you should begin cooling down now in a freezer. Begin by measuring out one milliliter of isopropanol for each tablet of aspirin. I'm measuring out 50 milliliters of isopropanol to 50 tablets of aspirin. Add the aspirin to the Erlenmeyer flask with stir bar. Then add the isopropanol. Begin heating and stirring the aspirin carefully and cover with a watch glass to reduce evaporation of the solvent. Do not heat the isopropanol past boiling, and if possible try to maintain the temperature to around 60 to 70 degrees Celsius, because high temperatures can hydrolyze the acetyl salicylic acid to salicylic acid. Over this time-lapse shot of approximately 45 minutes, stirring and heating were continued until the aspirin dissolved into the isopropanol, leaving behind a suspension of tablet binders and other contaminants. The solution will become cloudy, but the tablets will turn into a clear gelatinous mass due to the tablet binders. Once the aspirin is dissolved after about 30 minutes, filter the isopropanol off. Here I will demonstrate gravity filtration, but if possible, use vacuum filtration for speed. Set up your filter funnel with filter paper in a ring clamp, and then filter the isopropanol solution by gravity. You can use a magnet to hold the magnetic stir bar in the flask as you empty the solids into the filter paper. Wash the flask with isopropanol to collect any residues. Wash the solids with isopropanol, and dispose of the solids carefully. Place the beaker with isopropanol solution into your ice bath. While your isopropanol solution is cooling, Set up your vacuum filtration flask and funnel. Clamp the flask to a stand because the flask can tip during filtration. Don't forget to place a piece of filter paper into the funnel at this time. Also, at this point in time, you should measure at approximately five times the volume of your isopropanol in ice-cold distilled water that you cooled earlier. Add the ice-cold water to the ice-cold isopropanol. This will cause the acetylsalicylic acid to precipitate as it is insoluble in water. Now, filter the slurry by vacuum filtration until dryness and use a spatula to break up any lumps. You will obtain a fluffy white powder that is mostly acetyl salicylic acid. To purify this powder, we will recrystallize the acetyl salicylic acid using isopropanol. Transfer the powder to a beaker and begin heating up approximately 200 to 300 milliliters of isopropyl alcohol in another beaker. Slowly add the hot isopropanol to the beaker until fully dissolved. Stirring is necessary. Once your acetyl salicylic acid is fully dissolved, you can remove the isopropanol by using a disposable glass pipette to blow a stream of air at the solution, evaporating the isopropanol. I found that this method gives a better yield because simply trying to boil off the water or isopropanol will hydrolyze the acetyl salicylic acid to salicylic acid, while room temperature evaporation avoids this. Here is a close-up shot of the final recrystallized acetyl salicylic acid with larger crystals than the original powder. In an upcoming video, I will demonstrate the synthesis of the transition metal complex, copper aspirinate. If you like this video, please rate, subscribe, and comment.